everyone, this is Snoppa or Raphael coming to you with another Starseed update. Now, um, I am very, very lighthearted at this time. There, are, it feels like there are butterflies in my heart right now because it turns out I have some amazing, wonderful news to share with you all today. So, to start off, um, so this happened a few days ago, maybe I'd say it was probably, probably like four days ago, or maybe a fifth day ago, I had I had had a dream, I'm not sure if it was a lucid dream, but I think it was in between a lucid dream and a normal dream. But first off, I, I want to tell you that I was not attempting to get myself to lucid dream uh, when, when this had happened. So when when I had had the stream, um, I I was not intentionally trying to have one. It just happened, like so. So I wanted to tell you, I want to tell you the story um, of what happened. So uh, finally, my. My a part of a part of my spirit family, um, my I want to call him. He is he is a part of my spiritual ancestry. He is he is my spiritual ancestor that had contacted me and. I find this very exciting because I, I I had put the intent out there and I don't I don't really know like I didn't really know how it would present itself um, when I was trying to put the put the intent out there but um, also I'd like to note before I had this dream, I was I was intentionally sending my thoughts to my astral pyramid, and I, in a way, I, I had been um, meditating by sending out my energy to my astral pyramid by listening to my music. And this was an amazing result I had come to witness and experience. So finally, my ancestor, Gam Keeley, had, had come into my dream to finally just to um, just to, to see me and get more acquainted with me through the spirit through the dream and this is how the dream started out so it it's weird because I wasn't I wasn't trying to intentionally lucid dream but I I was dreaming that I was looking at my I was looking at my front door from the inside. I was I was looking at the door and I had woken up a few times probably uh probably at one time I had woken up and then I went back to sleep and when I was in the dream state again I I looked at the door again so 
when I was out of my body, I was continually, continually trying to look at the door. And I saw the door. Um, so, in my spirit form, I was trying to open it. I was trying to open the door. And then when I had opened it, I had only cracked the door um, a little ways to where I could see outside. And then um, this one scene had happened to where I was, I had maybe teleported myself or had um, spiritually um, put myself in, in a scene to where I saw the trees outside where I was in, in my front yard, but everything kind of had like a hue-ish, like an orange hue-ish uh, tint to everything. Like the trees were kind of orange. Um, the leaves on the trees were kind of orangey tint. Um, but I found myself out in the front yard, but there were, there were no houses, there were no fences, um, as you can see, um, they were all, they, they were all vanished, like, they, they were not there, because you can see everything over here, like, it has, like, house, like, a house over there, and it has a fence over there, but in the stream, there there were no, there was no there was no fence there was no house so everything was just forest like like vast forest and it seemed like it was it had like this magical essence in a way like it was like it was an enchanted like how you would visualize um, how, how you'd visualize a vast forest only in your mind you could picture um, an autumn an autumn forest with all these orange orange colors and uh, that's that's basically how the dream started out um, and then after that, after that, I had woken up from that scene and then went back to sleep. And then I was staring at my door again. And my door was, my door is, is a white. So when I, when I had dreamt back, when I had fallen back asleep again, I was looking at my door uh, for a second time, and that's when I I opened the door to where it was slightly cracked, but I could see outside, and it was still um, that enchanted forest scene. But when I looked outside there was a hill that went downward kind of like like I was looking out my front yard but there was a hill that went downward almost like a ravine and so my spirit self my higher um, divine feminine spirit self had called out to um, my, my ancestor Kiwi, and when I called out his name, when I had reached out for him in the spirit, um, I I had happened to trigger um, these these other dream entities that were scrambling around, and I believe that these were. I believe that these were CERN entities um, that had that had disguised themselves or 
had taken the image of um, bandits. They were dressed in bandit apparel or you know how you would kind of see how um, you know how you would uh, envision a, a band like a bandit person you know face mask uh, wearing these really bright colors dark bright color so I had called out to Gam Keeley and he was he he had made um, he had made a path through the bandits or he had he had totally went invisible um, from the bandits so the bandits weren't really able to sense where he was but I was able to when I when I called out to him I was actually trying to reach out to him through um, the door crack and then I called out his name and when I did this I had um, I had set off some uh, some dream entities that were scrambling around kinda almost like how you would disturb like an anthill uh, or when you're disturbing the ants they, they scramble around it's kind of like that and then he he finally took heed to my call when I had called out to him and then he had he had come through the door and had made contact with me and this this is really really exciting news for me because it makes me feel that all, all that time I had spent meditating, all that time I had, I had spent projecting my thoughts to my astral pyramid had paid off. Even when, even when I was not intentionally trying to lucid dream, this, this dream had happened. Um, so anyway, um, so in the next scene, so Gam Keeley had finally made contact with me and came in, and I had let him into into the house and um, and it, the dream was kind of fuzzy from there like I don't remember and then we were we were in another scene where I think he had taken me to like this um, to like this little cave area where we had we had rested and um, just we were just resting on like a bench or something and he was just sitting next to me and from there we were getting more acquainted we did not really talk in the dream um, I believe that we were we were we were more communicating through um, telepathy because because we because our ancestors our spirit ancestors which is our spirit family we we are we are truly connected through spirit so um, words aren't really needed when when coming in contact with your spirit family which is which is your ancestors and as well as your star family you don't really need to talk you don't really need to move your mouth much when you come in contact uh, with them it's more through telepathy so then we were just chilling hanging out just sitting there getting more acquainted and uh, I, I had happened to, this is near the end of the dream, so I had happened to fall asleep on him, <laughs> and then that's, that's when um, I woke up or disappeared from the dream realm right then, so. And oftentimes I have noticed that Gam Keeley and 
Theta Phili will will present themselves as um, birds here in this dimension because I noticed that uh, when I take when I take notice of the anim the small animals around my around my um, front yard, I I always see I always see two birds in pairs. Or, or, or with many birds, uh, maybe like, maybe like four, like four, four of them. There, there may, there will maybe be uh, three birds over here, but I, I had noticed that there were, uh, and, and this was a while ago, but I had noticed that there were there were two robins just hanging out with each other, and then. There were two uh, doves. One was a more pale color, and then the other one was more of like a darker color. So, I, yeah, that's, that's I think that's all I had to say in this video. So this is another Star Seed Dream update, and um, this this dream also relates to the one I had um, like a month ago it was called I called it I called it um, star seed dream update Keeley's voice and that's when and that's when I heard him um, within within the computer um, so yeah, I think I think that also relates to this dream because it was a follow up. But I'm just really happy because my my star family uh, had sent Gam Keely to me within within that dream I had a, a few days ago. So this this is proof that this is this is definitely proof that my ancestors are trying are they're really trying to get in contact with me they're already in contact with my star family and in my next video I'm going to go into the DNA movie uh, that is being, in a way that's uh, that is being, um, how do I how do I want to say it? It's being um, it's being recorded or um, through through the Akashic DNA. So I will. I will, I will go more into um, my DNA movie that is being downloaded within within my DNA structure um, here at this time. Okay, I'm gonna end this video now. Hope you guys find this video interesting and uh, like and subscribe if you. If you find the time to look at my videos. Alright guys. I'm signing out now. Thank you. Bye.